maintenance amount given to wife to be 25% of the net salary of husband. In the case Kalyan De Chaudhary versus Rita De Chaudhary Ni Nandi, the Supreme Court bench comprising of Justice R. Banamati and Justice Mohan M. Shandana Gowda noted that 25% of the net salary of the husband to be given as maintenance amount to wife is just. Thereafter, the court reduced the maintenance amount of rupees 23,000 to rupees 20,000 each month and has to be given by the husband within the 10th of each month. Appellant husband and respondent wife got married and had a son born out of the marriage, whereby it was alleged that even after the child was born, the respondent wife resumed a stay at a parental home and also persuaded appellant husband to reside at a parental home, which made the husband to file an application under Section 9 of the Hindu Marriage Act before the district judge Burdwan, where the court issued summons to respondent wife who, on receiving the summons, had filed an FIR against appellant husband and his parents as per Section 498A and Section 406 of the Indian Penal Code, to which an application for anticipatory bail was filed by the appellant before the session's judge Burdwan whereby the court granted the anticipatory bail to him and his parents. And the meanwhile, the addition district judge, Burdwan, granted the decree of restitution of conjugal rights, wherein, subsequently, an appeal was filed against above order by the respondent before the High Court, where the court directed the appellant husband as an interim arrangement to go to wife's parental home and take her back with him and to stay separately from his parents in the matrimonial home. And later, the arrangement was recalled. An appeal was filed by the wife before the High Court in this regard and the court allowed an appeal. Then later, the wife filed a matrimonial suit before the district judge Hoogley under Section 10 of the Hindu Marriage Act. And since the appellant husband was unable to attend proceedings, the court decreed judicial separation ex parte and also granted permanent alimony to respondent wife under Section 25 of the Hindu Marriage Act of an amount of Rs. 2,500 every month to wife and Rs. 2,000 to the son each month. Thereafter, the additional district and sessions judge, second fast track court, Serampur, acquitted appellant husband and his parents of all charges alleging dowry harassment, to which the wife filed revision petition before the Calcutta High Court, where the court dismissed the same, and the husband filed for divorce under Section 13 of the Hindu Marriage Act whereas wife filed for permanent alimony in that petition under Section 25 of the Hindu Marriage Act. And the Adisha District Judge, First Court, Hoogley, enhanced the maintenance amount to Rs. 8,000. So, the wife filed an amendment application before the Adisha District Judge under Section 25 of the Hindu Marriage Act, where the court granted maintenance of an amount of rupees 6,000 each for her and her son. And against that order, the wife filed revision petition as per Article 227 of the Constitution of India before the High Court, where the court granted maintenance to wife and son, an amount of rupees 16,000. And in the meanwhile, the additional district judge First, Fast Track Court Sarampur decreed the dissolution of marriage to which the wife filed a specially petition before the High Court, which the court disposed of, and that the respondent wife can approach the High Court via review, and so 
she filed a review application before the high court where the court increased the maintenance amount from rupees 16000 to rupees 20000 which led to an appeal being filed by appellant husband before the top court where the court observed following doctor kulbushan kumar versus rajkumari and another 1973 scc 129 in this case it was held that 25% of the husband's net salary would be just and proper to be awarded as maintenance to the respondent wife the amount of permanent alimony awarded to the wife must be befitting the status of the parties and the capacity of the spouse to pay maintenance